Okay, this is my boyfriend, Magnus. Uh, he's been covering Hollywood entertainment for like, how many years, Magnus? 145? Mm, yeah, something like that. More than 20. More than 25. Well, yeah. For the Swedish media, for uh, Aftonbladet, which is Scandinavia's biggest newspaper, yes, right? Correct. Uh, and you've interviewed more more celebrities than anyone I know. You, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. He, he's not the bragger, and you don't like to be on camera, Magnus. Let's face it. No, can I see it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you're not that comfortable doing uh, interviews on camera. Um, but still, you have done a few of them, and one of them is with my favorite, Blake Lively. And we found that interview the other day, and I was kind of shocked. What did you think when you saw it again? Oh, it's a painful uh, memory. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to talk more about that. But first, I just wanted to say that, you know, so many people have been asking me, um, they and saying telling me that they don't believe that I didn't know about all the drama going on um, with Blake Lively and her crew members or Justin Baldoni in particular and all the controversy around the movie it ends with us before I posted the video. But this is proof. <laughs> what, happened? <laughs> what happened when I posted that video, Mike? So you remember it. It was like I think it was on August 10th. Well, didn't you? It was a week before you were asked by a um, Norwegian TV station, right? Yeah. In RK. Yeah. Sounds like uh, something out of Germany, but it's not. It's from Norway, and it's a state. State owned. It's like BBC. Yeah. Know, yeah. Basically, basically, the BBC yeah. of Norway. And you were asked if you had had any. Uh, I think you were asked if you had had any bad experiences with celebrities because they were doing a piece on being cut off in Hollywood. For, uh, they were doing a piece on not being able to ask the questions they wanted. Um, and then they asked you. Yeah. And um, that's how this came to mind, right? Yes. Now I'm asking you to tell the story. How did I end up posting the video? Well, you actually brought up something else with them, didn't you? And then you started thinking, do I have anything else? And then your Blake Lively interview came to mind and you decided to post that. Yeah. I think that was the whole, sim that's the simple story, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, how nervous was I when, when I posted that video? <laughs> <laughs> you were more nervous than I am when I do TV interviews and, I, and I'm super nervous. <laughs> and you said to me, it's okay, you know, if you get a little hate, you can deal with it. Do you remember you said that? Yeah, I always say that. Yeah. <laughs> but what did you think when it went viral? Was that a shock to you? It really was. I had no idea it would be that uh, big and that talked about. Quite, uh, quite amazing, but also um kind of about time isn't it that you know all i mean this is your story wasn't isn't unique is it i mean no. every colleague we have have a story like that it's just that people don't talk about it because they're so afraid of being blacklisted and the blacklisting is real it happens yeah it happened a couple of weeks ago to another colleague of mine who got her tape confiscated because she asked something that they found uh, a little inappropriate so yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't take much, let's say that. No, to, it doesn't. To be, um, to be cut off in Hollywood. No, no, no. Anyways, so another thing that I just realized the other day that I showed you that video, um, the Kelly Ripper show, uh, regarding Blake Lively talking about her pregnancy, it was a marketing, it was part of the marketing for Cafe Society, which was the press junket that I did when she wasn't very nice to me. And as soon as she entered that stage, she started talking about her pregnancy. <laughs> but um, easier the second time around? Yes, much easier. It's much faster, much easier. right? Yeah, a lot mm -hmm. faster. You get bigger faster too, which has <laughs> been nice to try to fit into clothing. And it was like, oh, you get bigger the second time around, and blah blah blah, and talking about her other children. And then the host, Kelly Ripa, said, you know, I find it so amazing that you just get so fast into shape. You recover from pregnancy like nobody else I've ever seen because you did that movie, The Shallows, right after you had your first baby. Yeah, I did 10 months after. Yeah, that was just amazing <laughs> to me. She had, she had, there was no qualms about talking about it at all. No, you know, she wasn't upset at all about talking about that. No. And she was sitting there saying, oh, you know, I'm, I, get, I gain weight so easily, something like yeah. that, I get big so fast. Yeah, and yeah. It was so, yeah, and finding the right clothes to fit. And yeah, so obviously she was just out to get you. It was just, Why do you think she was out to get me, honestly? 
I have no idea, but I think, I mean, it's easy to, it's easy to stamp on someone, a freelancer from another country, isn't it? Um, and you know, she probably didn't want to be there. She, she was probably fed up. Maybe she had done 40 of those interviews in a row. And she was she just, probably had though, but I, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's an excuse, but it's not. Like yeah. And she was, and she's pregnant and maybe she's hormonal, hormonal, but, but, but come on. I mean, she's an actress. Can, can, can't you act for four minutes? Exactly. If you, you know, <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to be there, can't you act for four minutes? That's all yeah. it takes. Yeah. And then you get a break again and you can, you know, have your coconut yeah. water or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about your interview with her because you met her uh, at the same press junket that I did two years later in 2018 when she was pushing a simple favor. Um, let's have a look at the interview first and how it started and then you can comment on it. Okay. The chair or him? Him. him. Okay, okay, so if you could just kind of favor your right side. So just shift over in your seat a little. Uh, to, to your right. <laughs> this way. Oh, like that. There you yeah. go. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> this is Magnus Sundholm from Sweden. How do you say your name? Magnus Sundholm. Oh, Magnus that's close. Sundholm. Yeah, it was very, very from good. From Sweden. Very good. Show me that. Got it. Okay, you have speed. Magnus. Yes. When I saw you earlier, you said, oh, let me get a shot. And I thought you meant of alcohol, but you meant a photograph. Uh -oh. So guess what? <laughs> Time to put up. And what are we drinking? Aviation American Gin, who's and owned by a very, very sexy man, who also happens to be my husband. Ooh. Yeah, I know. So let's see. Let's so see what you think. We're starting early. Yeah, we are starting early. <laughs> what better time to start? Cheers. Cheers. How does it the is, taste test it happen? It's good. Oh, your yeah. voice went higher an octave. Just, come on, <laughs> yeah. just shoot it. Just shoot it. The, I'll be the singing if it's so much this. more interesting. <laughs> we just do like straight shots. But I hear you don't drink, right? I don't drink. No, this is coffee. But so, it's in a martini glass. Isn't that classy? Actually, I don't even like coffee. Um, but I drink it because I love the way they crush the beans and they talk about it and the story of the, you know, the origin of them and, and you know, the milk and the foaming it and all of that. And the same thing with alcohol when I hear about, you know, how this is distilled in Portland and how this, the reason this one is winning all the taste tests actually is because gin has a high juniper content, which is why a lot of people don't like gin because there's no juniper and like all of that story I just love because I like storytelling. It's what I do for a living. Um, and and then, you know, martinis are so sexy. I mean, that's why they're in this movie. It's just straight gin. It's not, I mean, there's nothing fancy to a martini, but the glass and the way you swirl it and you dump it and you twist the lemon and it's just like, oh, it's so sexy. So that's why. I think it's sexy. <laughs> okay, my miss. Young? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes in Swedish. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what happened? I mean, you came in to do an interview and then she started trying to get you drunk or what what happened oh god i heart i almost don't remember it but because you got so drunk or <laughs> it was early in the morning yeah what was the movie again a simple favor a simple favor i can never remember the title with anna kendrick yeah um yeah it was it was kind of surreal in a bit because you know i was there to interview her and they had built the set a little bit and walked into that and was completely ambushed by um, her promoting her husband's gin, basically. So she hijacked the interview in a sense and took, uh, well, it was at least half of, almost half of that interview to talk about, to talk about this, the, the product placement, basically, that's what it was. It was a big product placement. And you as a journalist, how does that make you feel when someone is trying to like push and um you because she was trying to promote the brand through you obviously right? yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i mean it was a, it was a blatant uh, promotional thing but but you know it, and i played along so you know i i could of course have objected but my job is to sort of my job is to sort of make the talent play along or so you know or i have to yeah, make the talent have an interview. Yeah, yeah yeah and i want to be friendly and i want to you know I want her to open up and to be able to talk. So, you know, I played along. Uh, I drank gin at 10 in the morning. Um, I would never do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of felt like I had to. And You look very uncomfortable there. I, I saw your facial expression. You mean more sometime. than now? Yeah, <laughs> more than now. No, but you look like you were like suffering a little bit. You didn't know what to do. And she, as soon as she poured you that first uh, martini or whatever, uh, she started saying, you know, shuck it, shut yeah, it yeah, down. Yeah, 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 finish it. Yeah. Yeah. And you were like, mm. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you come up there after having had your uh, cereal and milk, and then yeah. all of a sudden you get gin served 
on the rocks yeah, to do um, your job basically yeah yeah exactly so of course it wasn't the best i'm not you know i'm not saying i'm the victim or I could, of course i could have said no but but it was kind of weird the whole the whole setup was weird yeah and um and then she started talking and you asked her about you know she doesn't even drink which is like <laughs> yeah she wanted me to drink but she doesn't drink herself <laughs> no. um she doesn't drink coffee either apparently either but yeah. she loves it too um yeah. it was just like and she spent a lot of time talking about how you create coffee with beans and and basically also to talk about how you create gin. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, that felt like a whole spiel, like, yeah. you know, that was, it was all set up to, she talked about how coffee is made so she could talk about how gin is made. Yeah. And, you know, especially this gin that her husband owns and promotes. Her sexy husband, you mean. Oh, yeah, that's of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think about the celebrities promoting brands like this, especially in these interview settings? I think one thing is if you are, on Instagram and you're showing off products uh, that has your name on them or whatever. Uh, I think that's one thing. But another thing is if you sit and you invite a journalist to interview you about a movie and then you sit and push uh, alcohol brand on them. Yeah, especially had it been, you know, first of all, I wonder who her advisors are because most countries in the world, you can't, you can't show that. You can't, you know, you can't have a booze commercial <laughs> basically in what in what's supposed to be uh, you know regular content, um, so and you know it's illegal to to have any advertisement for alcohol. For some, it's illegal in, some, in some countries, right? I mean, in Norway it is. I'm sure it is in Sweden. I too. don't even know, but I mean, in Sweden that was, you can't even buy alcohol in the store. <laughs> so I mean, that's true. But, but yeah. you know, you can't even show that because that's just such a, a blatant product placement. So it, it's all useless. It, it would yeah. have been more natural had she been drinking, though. So that, then maybe, you know, I could have done something with it or, you know, yeah. but, but, you know, for her to sit there and push something and then say, I don't drink it. And you got four minutes with her, right? Yeah. yeah. So that means that was over two minutes was that she talked about her alcohol brand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the rest two minutes, you got to ask her one question. I think I got one question in yeah. there and that, that she talked about yeah. that, that I might have been able to use. I don't even remember now. Yeah, but then she's sitting with that brand of alcohol Next to in her, front yeah. of her the entire time. Yeah, so you yeah. can't really get that gene brand out of the picture while she's talking. True, true. So did you feel used? <laughs> are, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you walk out of there thinking, what the just happened, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess you met her many times before. I met her, I met her several times before, but uh, but not on camera like that. It was more uh, in print settings. Um, but, on but, press conferences then. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But, yeah. but you know, I, and I walked in that morning, I knew, I knew sort of what, because I heard, oh, she's not in the best mood and blah, blah, blah. But she was, you know, she was lovely, I think, with me, uh, kind of. <laughs> That's <laughs> lovely for Blake Lively. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was fine. But, but you know, <sighs> Yeah, that's not really what I was there for, to promote her husband, so... Jim, that's for sure. Well, do you remember if any other journalist was reacting to this kind of stuff? Yeah, was of course. Everybody came out after me and said, oh, you know, oh, she wanted me to drink and, you know, she was pushing the gin and... Yeah, um, maybe, you know, we sometimes we, we complain about that they always say the same things and it's it's always the same settings and stuff. So, so in that sense, maybe it was a good idea, but if you really think about it... <laughs> I think, no. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I think it's really in like unethical to do that. I mean, she wouldn't have known. Maybe you had alcohol issues, you know? Yeah, but then I could have said no. Yes, but still, I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to say. Or maybe it's so hard. If I had a big problem, I would of course, you know, grab <laughs> yeah, the bottle like, and just it. like. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that if she had such a huge problem with me congratulating her on her pregnancy, yeah, yeah. and she doesn't have an issue with making you drink at ten o'clock in the morning when you're at work, I don't know. I and mean, she and she only had a problem with you um, and the pregnancy because apparently, yeah. you know, she goes on yeah. an American. Yeah. And TV, TV channel and, and talks about it for five minutes straight. Yeah, and then there's another interview from that same press junket where she talks about the clothes and how amazing they were. And, and we got to sit there and watch these live performances yeah. of them while we were dressed in these incredible vintage couture gowns and jewelry and... and it is oh yeah, you got in trouble for that too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's definitely personal. Blake doesn't like me, <laughs> but she does like you, I think. At least when I, well, at least <laughs> when maybe I drink. maybe not after this. When <laughs> I don't think you're going to interview her ever again either. I don't think so. No. no. Are you okay with that? Uh, you can live with that. Okay. Mm. Down it. Here we go. Come on. Woo! <laughs>
Yeah! Should have done, should we have had that play. before.